but there this is fixed it and we've had a loft conversion in the house done for some years and it's my lab and where I do a lot of my work but one of the problems is when you open the below windows in order to let the heat out I get flies and wasps so I actually decided to fit these insect screens on the two windows there's one window and this is the second window I'm about to do it on normally fitting these would be quite straightforward um, but of course as it's a Velux window it's on a slope so it's been quite tricky and this is basically how I did it I'll do number two I actually decided to make the pencil line using this large metal spirit level it's actually got a groove on either side so it actually fits very very nicely and securely into the window frame so it's allowed me to go right the way around the windows and do a decent mark what I then did was use this set square to line up the lines and then complete the corners the distance across the top is 98 so I'll just measure out sticky magnetic strip that goes across there you may wonder why I've set the pencil line so far back but when a new window is put in there's a metal bracket placed around the frame in order to stop it being damaged and this is about an inch deep so I've gone above it and if you actually try to stick any nails or screws or anything in there it'll make a mess Okay, so magnetic strip is actually up there and the other strip goes on top of it and this contoured strip just sticks magnetically to it like so right the way across I'm not going to fit that yet which is really good okay so now let's do the one on the bottom so then I'll have a template then to run the two long sides in place so using this stapler with large staples so I've applied staples right the way across particularly at the ends so that I'll keep that stuck to the tile I'm just gonna hit them with a hammer to make sure they're in fully so they don't affect the magnetic connection okay we have all the magnetic parts in place and stapled this is the, the top here's the edge that the white will clip onto shortly the only thing I have left to do is to actually cut the pieces of this to fit on these sides I'll do that now so here is the plastic mesh so I've used the little clips that come in the box just to temporarily hold the mesh at the top and then because this is metal I can use strong magnets to hold the mesh in place while I adjust it until it's pretty straight so that it ends up like that one over there it's impossible to get it tightly together but to be honest if you did it may well end up shrinking and not working properly so better a good seal than a tight seal this is just a short piece of the plastic and as you can see it's got kind of jaws on the side and they fit perfectly and then foot all the way down okay so then that actually clips in place got a very large roll of it on the floor i'm going to go from the top here down to the bottom and then cut it to size i'll just do this one side to start with the piece on so now what i'll do is to remove all these magnets from this side So now I can restretch this before I put the next strip on. Okay, so there's the screen. I'm just finishing fitting these end connectors and they basically clip over this piece here. And then what that allows you to do is to feel back the screen, but don't do it at this stage. <laughs> okay, final bit. Let's put that one on there and on there. Again, we can peel that off now. What I haven't done is installed these little bits of plastic. So this is a very stupid fail that I did yesterday. So there's the handle, you can see it. And now if I reach in to grab the handle, <laughs> without the bits of plastic that stop it from becoming unclipped as you start to pull it off the whole thing's gonna fall 
going to take a safety razor and just cut down the side. So sticky side down. I'll lift the white off a little bit here and push the clip on it and then I will then press that against the magnetic strip underneath. And now I'm just going to cut along the bottom and do the same there. Now I'll take this other piece and just take the plastic off the back and do the same again. And what I need to do is to work out how far I need to pull this off in order to get to the handle, which is about there. Put that in place. Okay, and what that means is I can actually get to the handle and pull it out and then I can just clip everything back in place and it's easy to do but as you can see <laughs> it hasn't fallen on me as it did before so that's it I'll just carry on cutting the edges and then the job's done let me just put that back in place there oh, there we go yeah I said I'm really really pleased with the results that's 1899 each really really good very very useful if this video helps you in any way please consider using the link in the description to buy me a coffee or use the super thanks which is the heart underneath the video hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel check out my other videos there's over 600 to choose from and they're constantly updated if you look at the comments all the videos work because they were problems that I was solving myself and then after solving them and replicating the solve I then went on to make the videos so there's no bogus videos in amongst the fixed it videos thanks for watching bye